Whether they intended to or not, Microsoft has released Windows 11 a whole day early. Today that I'm shooting this is the 4th of October, but Windows 11 should be live for everyone at this point in time. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make sure your PC can run it, how to get it, and how to get it installed. Let's begin. So the victim for today's video is going to be this HP Pavilion. I don't, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's got like a Ryzen 5. So my system is perfectly fine to upgrade to Windows 11 right now. And right now I'm gonna show you how to make sure yours is fine to upgrade. So there's a link in the description. You're gonna wanna click. I think I'm gonna have it labeled as like PC health check tool something like that. But you're gonna wanna download and install that, and once you start running it, it's gonna look a little bit like this. It's gonna say PC health at a glance. We don't really care about any of this. I mean, you can you can pay attention to that if you want. But what we're really interested in is this introducing Windows 11 box right here. You wanna click check now, and it's gonna see what your system hardware is, and it's going to validate that it's natively supported in Windows 11. It will also link Microsoft's documents to um, official support down below. It's a little tricked, but I have another video coming this week on Windows 11 to uh, hopefully show you guys how to get around it if you're really that interested and your PC doesn't support it. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Let's continue with this video. So you can see that it says this PC meets Windows 11 requirements. All we need to do here is just make sure that it will run. So what we can do is we can close that and we're going to open up Chrome or edge if you're into that. And this is the website you want to go to. Again, I'm going to have it linked in the description below. It's microsoft.com slash en slash us slash software dash download slash Windows 11. Now you can see up here, they tell you that there's three options for installing or creating Windows 11 media. But the one we're going to try first is the Windows 11 installation assistant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click download now. That's going to download the installation assistant. This is very similar to upgrading to Windows 10 or just updating your version of Windows 10. So it's gonna say right here, good news, this PC meets the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. And you know, if you wanna, wanna read this and like sign your life away, whatever, you can. We're just gonna skip past it, accept and install. And this is the fun part. We get to wait because waiting, but that's fine. We're just gonna let it run. Um, I'm gonna come back when it's all done and uh, I'm just gonna time lapse this because it's, it's super boring. All right, so once it finishes downloading, it's gonna verify it. And now we get to the extra fun part of installing. And this is probably going to, t oh wow, okay, it just jumped to 2%. This might actually go a bit quicker than I was initially anticipating. Either way, I'm gonna time lapse it. I'll come back when it's ready to fully install and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, so in the amount of time that it took me to um, start a family, grow old, die, reincarnate, and uh, start another YouTube channel, we're ready to install. So at this point, I think I have to stop my OBS recording and we begin the restart process. Now I think what I have to do is I'm gonna have to hold it up like this in a really awkward position because um, I can't screen cap, so. This is what we're gonna have to do. I would appreciate if you start doing something. My elbow already hurts, come on. There we go. All right, so it's gonna work on some updates. Computer may restart a few times, but that's okay. As long as uh, at the end of this process, we have Windows 11, I don't care what you do. What if, what if I, I balance it like this, just so it's there in the corner of the screen? All right, I think I figured out a cheat code. I'm just gonna balance it on my knee until the, uh, the install is sort of done. Oh, okay. Um, that was quick. So, looks like we are all set and ready to go. God damn, they... Okay, I'm putting it back on my knee. Almost there. And we are in Windows 11. It actually only took two hours from when I began preparations for filming this video. So that's cool. Winver, Windows 11, the build number is 22000.194, is a 21H2, and this one is Windows Home. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install Windows 11 on your PC. Now I'm gonna be doing a couple more different methods of how to install Windows 11 in the coming days, weeks, maybe. So be on the lookout for those and uh, 
yeah, Windows 11 is here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know, are you upgrading to Windows 11 or are you gonna stick with Windows 10? Let me know and I will see you guys in my next video.